the Coral Coast major port city of Geraldton was the venue for our round 21 match of the day between league leaders West Perth and fifth placed East from Adelaide. It was always going to be a tough game, one that both sides really had to win. West Perth wanting to consolidate their position at the top of the ladder and East from Adelaide just needing to keep on winning in order to make sure that they secure a place in this year's final round. Terrific crowd ride up, rolled up to uh, Wanthella Park Oval in Geraldton. The conditions were outstanding early. A strong breeze blowing from the north and apparently a storm brewing but West Perth shot off to a pretty early lead. A great snap on goal there by one of their star forwards in Anthony Salikas. Gave West Perth the start that they needed. It was a low scoring affair in the first quarter. Callum Leslie, a young player for East Randall playing just game number 19, really has a future. Kicking a goal from long range early in the second quarter. The second quarter was really the quarter that East Fremantle opened West Perth up, displayed some of their weaknesses. They used the ball a lot better with the breeze. Tom Howlett getting front position there, taking a mark and kicking from well outside 50 with the breeze, made no mistake. After trailing by four points at quarter time, East Fremantle dominated the second quarter, kicking six goals four to West Perth's 2-2. They opened up a 22-point lead at the half-time break, and Brad Shepherd was instrumental, moving from half back to half forward and slotting through a major for the Blue and Whites. Well, goals were kicked from a long way out. They were also kicked from difficult angles. And uh, John Griffin, who had a great duel with West Perth's Chris Coonan, had the upper hand on this occasion, kicking a wonderful goal from the boundary line. The sun disappeared, and uh, West Perth, some of their chances started to dis disappear as well. A great goal here by Anthony Saylor. Kept them in the game. They actually got their noses back in front by three-quarter time, leading 11-8 to 10-5. The margin was in their favour by nine points with a quarter to go, but it was always going to be a hard slogging affair. And West Perth were going to find it very, very tough because they were going to be kicking into the breeze. A great goal there by Anthony Selekas. Kicked four for the game and was one of the stars of the match. Uh, East Fremantle, however, kicking with the aid of the breeze in the final quarter were always going to be a big threat. They had to make up a, a deficit of nine points. It was going to be difficult because players like Selekas and Salasic were coming into their own, but led in the ruck by Robert Young in the final quarter. They really did turn the game. Holding front spot there was Richard Hadley. He goes right back into the centre square. It's a long ground here at Wonthella Park Oval, but Hadley had no trouble with the distance, and that was the start of the revival for East Fremantle. They finished up winning what was a very entertaining match. They trailed by four points at quarter time, led by 22 at half time, trailed again by nine points at three quarter time, but ran out winners in a strong final quarter performance. 15 goals, 8, 98 to 11, 13, 79, the final scores, and the margin was 19 points in favour of the, the uh, Sharks. Well, going next week to round 22. Our match of the day sees the Falcons once again in action up against the Royals. It's the final Perth Derby of the season. West Perth versus East Perth from Arena Joondalup and we'll be on air from 2pm.